Was there a moment, maybe it's an NBA player, maybe it's a coach, that, that you found out, like, hey, I'm for real, I, I belong on the national stage? Was there somebody that came up to you and said, like, hey, man, I like your game or anything like that that you felt like, wow, I mean, I, it must be coming together for me? I'm, I don't know. It's because it's just been such a long road, and everybody's been really supportive over the years and stuff like that. And, just most people just enjoy the fact that I play hard. So most coaches usually like just compliment me on that. But other than that, I usually just kind of get it from my dad. My dad isn't he isn't hard on me, but his expectations for me are very high. And so usually when he's telling me, "Hey, like you're getting the job done," that's when I feel like, "Okay, we're making a little <laughs> progress here." So so yeah. On your visit to Oregon, was there anything that stood out that that made you feel like you were at home? That felt like, "Hey, we're I'm in the right spot." Um, I just remember me and Coach Stubblefield walking around. Uh, we were walking around the arena, and we stood um, in like one of the sections, and we just looked down on the court. And like I was watching like Peyton Pritchard shoot his jump shots and stuff. You know, they do their individual workouts and stuff. And Tyler was down there, and it, it just felt like home. It just felt like somewhere I needed to be. Like with the relationships that I had with the players already, and just meeting all the guys and. Just seeing everybody and everybody was really supportive. I was just like, this is somewhere I want to be, so yeah. Okay, rapid fire round. First thing that comes to mind. Ready? Okay. Okay. Las Vegas. Hot. <laughs> I like it. Very hot. Dana Allman. Great coach. I'm glad with Vegas you didn't say gambling, by the way. We would have to, we would have to cut that. Uh, Oregon Ducks. Final four. Team USA. Um, w uh, on Friday. Michael Porter Jr. Number one player in the country. Colin Sexton. Explosive. Call of Duty. Uh, ah, um, great game. I, <laughs> I don't know. I was trying to think of like a word to like. No, you're good. Kind of like falling off. <laughs> I would say digressing. Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay. Um, future. The artist? No, no, no. <laughs> oh, I was like, your future. I was your future. <laughs> your future. Come on, man. <laughs> I was like, wait, wait, wait. The artist. Hold on. Okay. Um, or um. National champions next year, hopefully. Okay. Hopefully, that's that's the goal. Okay. Five years from now. Five years from now, in the NBA, um, beautiful wife, and that's all I have. For See, I like. I've asked you that twice now, yeah. and both times you've said beautiful wife. Yeah. You haven't said like smart wife, or really nice wife, beautiful wife. I just feel like naturally, like she's gonna be all she's those. She's gonna be all those things. Like if that's okay. like five years from now, so. Hopefully, we get life together. We settle down. So. Okay. Uh, Twenty years from now, hopefully, I imagine an NBA career career is done at that point. So let's kind of go past that. Where are you? Twenty years from now. Twenty years from now, if everything works out how it's supposed to, uh, I would say in you know ESPN doing some like broadcasting stuff, you know, doing players like maybe doing with like Charles Barkley and Shaq does or something around that area. So. You're really comfortable on camera, more comfortable than most of the kids I talk to. Have you always been, a, I mean, this is kind of giving you a huge compliment here, but you've always been, a, you, have you always been a, an extremely charismatic guy? I mean, you come across as very confident, very intelligent, and, and able to speak about stuff, and not every 15, 16, 17-year-old is, and, and you've been able to do this for years now. Um, well, my thing is, it's like, I take, and I can give this credit to my dad completely, um, I told him um, about like my eighth grade year, my sister, or not my eighth grade year, like my sophomore year, I told my dad that I wanted to do broadcast communications. And so he was like, oh, okay, you want to do that? Well, we're going to practice. And then so he would interview me okay, on the way to school every morning. Wow. And then from there, it was just kind of like, okay, like you want to do broadcast communications, you need to pay attention in English class because you're going to have to write papers. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to speak to people and be politically correct. So. That just from there, it was just like building a rhythm of just kind of being, like I said, politically correct and talking to people nicely and um, having like the utmost respect for people because that's what usually people have in that type of area or that field. So from there, it was just kind of like me building my brand and making sure that I set a standard for myself to get that done. So, Who is the person, who's the basketball player who's off the court activities, interviews, things that you'd like to get involved in. Like, Russell Westbrook's really into fashion. Mm -hmm. um, a number of athletes are into all, all sorts of different things. What, who do you see yourself being like off the court? Or, or is there somebody like that? Um, I don't know. I would just say, 
I would say James Harden at the moment. I would just say James Harden, not because of the fashion thing or anything like that, just because I don't have anything specific that I would just want to hop into besides like broadcast communication. I haven't really thought that hard about it, but I would just say because of the way he lives his life, he, he seems very confident in himself and very goofy, and I like the fact that he's okay with being himself and he doesn't have to act like anybody else in order to enjoy basketball. Like, he seems like he doesn't get caught up in the lights and cameras and stuff. He just, he's just himself, so. So you're not saying you want to date a Kardashian? No. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't have a problem with it. I just feel like that's a lot of, like, that's a lot of, um, attention. I just, I was making sure. You beautiful yeah. wife and James Harden I mean, dated a Kardashian. Hey, like, I was hey, checking. Hey. I mean, I wouldn't say no, but at the same time, <laughs> I, I don't know how I feel about that. That's a lot of attention, so.